And good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 for Tuesday, December the 28th, 2021. The NASDAQ during Globex did manage to push up to an, an additional high for this sequence at 16,659.50. That is the level that I've now marked as the completion point for the minute third wave. Remember, we're counting a minor fifth wave advance, which will have five waves of minute degree. So thus far, we are completing uh, minute one, two, and three, which leaves us in a minute fourth wave correction. And while it did get down and got very close to the hourly 50, which kind of drifted a little bit lower at the time when it was coming down to uh, 16,452, that particular uh, 50 uh, moving average was a little bit higher and closer to 40, uh, 16,450. So I actually did kind of call that it was a decent low and reaching that uh, <clears throat> 50 moving average. Now, when I take a look at the pattern itself, it is not very convincing. Come on, computer. It's not very, oh, man, I'm telling you, it just drives me crazy that my mouse and my computer can't seem to get themselves together. So I apologize for all of this mishmash around. There we go. So there was the high. And then I can, I could probably squeeze out of all this in ABC down to that low. But then when I look at this, it could be the beginning of the fifth wave up, but it doesn't really feel as if it, if it does. And I'll tell you why. Because when I bring this down and I take a look at it, it really is presenting itself as more of a three wave move up. And instead of like building like one, two, and then this should be getting off the ground, but it seems not to be. Although, you know, the market did it closed regular session and now we're in the after hour session but i'm going to give the benefit of the doubt that we may still have additional downside before this fourth wave correction is complete so we're going to continue to have that support at 16,439 now and then we have fibonacci 0.236 at 16,410 i'll call it but let's not forget that the most common pullback, a fourth wave pullback under Fibonacci guidance is 0.382. And that level is down here at 16,255. So I can't rule that out. If this is all an A wave, we get a B wave, we get another C wave drop. We're likely going to start coming down into uh, below 16,400. But I would think as a minimum, we at least get down to this support level at 16,409. This 382, this is for that fifth minor fifth wave up. So we've already exceeded that, we've already exceeded 50%. So these will provide support coming back down and not resistance. The Fibonacci retracements are these a little bit more inside that larger range. And so we have still the 236 at 16,410, I'm calling it. And then we have the 382 at 16,255. So I'm gonna give it another day because both the NASDAQ and the S&P, yes, I can count them as complete, but the market's gonna to have to tell us that that's the case by rallying up. And with the S&P, it would have to get itself above uh, 4,798. And here in the NASDAQ, it really would have to get itself above 16,659. I needed to break to a new high. And what I did like about the way the third closed is it got within 100 points of the all time highs for the NASDAQ. And expectations do remain that that level would be broken. So, what can, what can we expect moving forward, at least for tomorrow? Uh, we had decent volume today. So, there's still a lot of position adjustments and a lot of trading going on. Uh, we are continuing to build towards uh, Friday's expiration. So we still have play happening within Apple, within Amazon, within 
the different larger tech stocks. And today was just some adjustments to all of that, consolidation and adjustments. So I still am gonna to continue to feel that once this fourth wave is complete, and I really do think that we're likely gonna get it above 16,400 uh, to be complete. Uh, and the rally does begin again, that we get above 16,659, which is the current high for this sequence. We break above 16,700 to 760. 7, 767 is that previous high, and we need to exceed that. And I do feel that it, it should happen pretty quickly once the rally gets back in gear. So our first point where we can start to look for the, the whole sequence to be complete, so the minor wave five to be complete, would be 16,845. Now that might just be a resting point because again, once this is complete, then I have to we have to watch the development and count an internal five waves. Remember, waves one, three, and five will contain five waves of their own. So even though they're minute, they're gonna be sub-minute waves that we need to count five to finish and put the top in for wave five. So I'm going to watch the development, but I think that that may not all be contained at 16,845. If we need to take into consideration that we had a pretty strong first wave at 827, and this was 492. So that was 300 plus points. 300 plus points here puts us up there. So yeah, it could complete it, but then we have this third wave. And soon as I can get the fourth wave done, then I can run additional extensions from wave two up to three down to the bottom of wherever four is. And that's gonna give us the Fibonacci levels for this fifth wave. Because remember, the fifth wave is compared to the third wave on a Fibonacci basis. So then we're going to want to see where a lot of this overlap will start to come in. And then we'll get a very clear picture of expectations for this wave. But for right now, without that, I am definitely looking for the rally to continue and to break above 16,659, get up towards 16,845. We'll see if it can hold it. I feel we get higher. So that leaves us into no man's land because there's really it's never been up here before so these would all be new all-time highs but i think then we have 16,845 to 850 then we have 75 then we have 16,900 etc all the way up but our next fibonacci level is 17,036 then we have 17,214 now what do we have up here if the minor fifth wave is going to be 100% the length, so it's going to be equal in length to that minor third wave, that's 17,683. It's not out of the realm of reality yet. It's up there, and there's a big black hole between 17,200 and 17,683. So anything in between, of course, can stop it, can complete it, but we cannot rule out a really blow off uh, top. And that's coming in to the final expiration for 2021, which is on Friday, December the 31st. So we have this, this end point coming at the end of the year, at the end, the last expiration of 2021. So I think it's gonna be really very interesting to see how this all plays out and hopefully just as interesting to trade. So for tomorrow, um, we're gonna leave open the possibility that we may have additional uh, downside to put in to complete this small fourth wave. Again, the support 16,439 down to 16,410. Um, we do have potential if it really starts to kick in, the, in gear to the downside, and it just repeats what it did today, then yes, we could likely end up down here. 
16,000, excuse me, 255. But I'm not necessarily thinking that um, that is going to be the case. I think the buy pressure will step in and, and will get intense again and prevent any serious uh, damage being done to the downside. On the upside, we're still looking for it to break above 16,659. That'll give us confirmation way for done. And that the fifth wave is now underway and we'll get to counting five waves up from wherever that bottom is to get up to our ultimate high. Again, trade smart, trade with your moving averages in mind. They really do help. They, they continue to guide the trades, uh, particularly on the hourly chart. We had the four and the eight just kind of heading lower all day. The 20 finally got broken, then head lower. As that 20 broke, when it was penetrated by the four and by the eight down here, you can see that things picked up. Once the four broke the 20, it picked up and then it picked up again. So, and then, so I would feel that that would continue to be the case if this continues to move lower. And first, the, if the 20 were to break below the 50, I would think we may have seen the highs, but I didn't see, these are things I'm not necessarily expecting, but I do think the market can get down to this level before we rally. So play with the moving averages, play with the support that we have, the, the retracements, and then the resistance coming in once the rally begins from the extensions. And our next update will be on Wednesday, the 29th.